Hey, what's up, you guys? For those of you that don't know, my name is Raymond Olive. And welcome back to another episode of Rain's Adventures. The adventure continues. Hey, I just want to let you guys know, if you guys could please leave a like on this video, that would really greatly appreciate it. Uh, recently, like, the dislikes, I guess, low-key, have been going down. Not going to spoil anything. So, if we get an influx... Okay, but I'm just letting you know they're going down and so to really boost up my spirits I'd really appreciate it if you left a like, but that's all I'm gonna say, you know I hate saying stuff like that, but It would mean a lot to me on this episode in particular because I got something to show you Have you ever built something or done anything where once you're done with it? You just sit back and you just think like Wow, like you know what this looks freaking amazing. I'm very happy with what I did. I'm sorry That was my mom <laughs> I did that yesterday. Yesterday, I made, um, I, I, I was watching a Netflix show and I had nothing to do. Like, I didn't really know. I didn't want to play Skyrim. I didn't want to play Rocket League. I just wanted to play Minecraft. And I did. And I played on this freaking LP and I freaking went ham. First thing I did, all I started doing, was to start working on this house right here. Uh, this is a copy of that house over there that's burning. And I sort of like how this layout is nice square. Um, I'm thinking about what's to do in it. Uh, but I think we might go with just like a regular shop or uh, oh actually we could put the records in that like the library That could be a library and this could just be a shop uh, We'll talk about shops and stuff like that here soon, but I want to show you the big the big one The farm dude the major key component to our whole entire town is this farm right here And I can't believe I, I finished it um, and I'm very happy with it too. Like everything about this is exactly how I envisioned it. And I'm just, I, I just can't stop smiling every single time I look at this. So let me explain a few things. Um, so what I did was first things first, I cleared out all of this freaking um, dirt right here. I have a whole double chest now. Yeah. Whole. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Oh, I converted it. Yeah, I converted it. That's what I did. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I converted all of this into... I have still some gravel left over. I converted it all into um, coarse dirt because I just kept plugging away with this coarse dirt here. I also terraformed over there, so that's probably where a lot of it went. And then I just added a little bit, as we did in our roads, I added a little bit of, you know... You know, I added some like I like this like this random patches of just regular dirt I really do like that. It just it adds some discoloration that I feel like it's it's highly needed in this like setting I also added some like regular grass like I don't know if that really fits it, but I feel like it I feel like it, it'll do its part and then the last thing I did was add this fence that went around it um, My plan is to have like some farm animals roaming around this and I wanted them to stay in here And I didn't really know how to do that without just putting like a whole fence So I'm still shaky on the idea because I really don't want to be chasing down animals, you know, so I, I did that the second thing I did after I cleared out the area was I started building stuff. The first thing I built was this chicken coop. Now, this chicken coop design is based off of uh, B00's somewhat. Like, the, the angled roof is based off of his and the interior is. Um, so, in, in the interior, this is what we have going on. Um, it's not functional. Like, I'm not supposed to kill these chickens right here. These are strictly to get me eggs, right? And so, you see me just popping around. So, these guys I won't kill. What I do with these eggs is I come out here then and I'm just going to keep shooting them into here and hopefully I'll get like a baby chicken and I'll just start raising them in here these are the chicken that I'm gonna kill these chicken in here are for eggs you know like this is this is like what they're meant for right so I really like that after I built this I was like in the groove so I was like all right let's just keep on going so I did this a water tower and actually I did some research about water towers because you know I want to be loreful right like I want to be Accurate and the first water towers was built in like in the 1870s Don't check my work because I did this research last night. Let me just do a quick Google search again um, I'm pretty sure 1870 um, 1850s is what this says 1869. Oh, I was spot on 1869. 1869 was the first water tower that was ever built. And guess what? It was built in the same state 20 minutes away from me in Joliet. And so that was pretty cool to find out that the first water tower was actually like really close to me. It was built like by, uh, I think it was, um, let me actually look to see if this tells me real quick. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it was built by an architect, William uh, Boyington. 
Never heard of Boyington, but that was pretty cool. And so uh, I, I tried to make this functional somewhat, but for some reason this won't let the water down. I, I'm very disappointed that this doesn't function like that. Uh, but I did fill it just for gimmicks, you know, and I added this little spout here. Um, I don't know about the design, but I really like using that jungle wood. I feel like that sort of goes with this regular oak. And then I also added this to sort of have supports. My plan was that I could flick this and the water would flow into this little patch right here. And maybe like I have a, a water thing here and some of the animals come and drink. After I added this water tower, I added little minor details like this like um, this little trough thing for the animals. Um, at that time, I added this thing right here and then I started thinking like what all other things does like a farm need you know what do these animals need well if they're out here they're gonna want a place to have some shade and so I built this tree here I'm not really too wild about the tree um, but I figure like they're gonna need some shade and so they're gonna come over here and chill in the shade and then whilst I was over here I figured I might as well just finish this so I finished this somewhat I still want to do some work here uh, but I just added a roof and uh, and yeah, that's it. Like, this is a lot of work, and I understand. I, I hope you guys aren't, like, really upset with me that I didn't show this, but I just, I just like, started building, you know? Like, I, I started gathering materials to what I needed. I actually had most of the stuff. Like, a lot of this didn't take a whole lot more. I did a lot of oak farming. Like, that's really the main thing I used. Um, I didn't want to use any of the cobblestone because I feel like that is more of a structural support, whereas, you know, the wood is more farm-based. What's really cool, if we pop into shaders real quick, I apologize if somebody, some of you guys don't like shaders, I just want to show you what it looks like. It looks really beautiful. Oh my goodness. I Actually, when the sun is rising, I'll show you, there's a nice little shadow of this, but this is pretty cool. I love this screenshot right here. Uh, let me also sleep real quick. Dude, it is so nighttime. Oh, this view is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Please. I also found more diamonds. I went uh, I went down in my strip mine to get some gravel. And I dug a patch of gravel. And there was actually just diamonds right underneath that. So that's pretty cool. I haven't done anything other than that, though. I Just like I said, I've just been building and, and some random stuff. Oh, my freaking FPS gets chopped in half with shaders. That's sort of weird. All right, look at this shadow real quick. Oh, the sun's got to rise a bit more, but that's pretty cool. I'm telling you, dude, this world is really coming along. Like, you guys have even said it too, so you have to finish that. I think I ran out of wood. Was that the case? Well, I was watching Salem on Netflix, which is a pretty cool show if you like that kind of stuff. Um, wood. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I need spruce wood. Yeah. I ran out of bone meal because I started bone mealing stuff and I started bone mealing the trees. And so now I have to wait for the trees to grow, which is sort of annoying. Oh, here comes the shadow, dude. Look at this freaking shadow. Oh my goodness. Like, that is probably my favorite thing about shaders is the shadows. Because, like, that is such a cool looking thing. Like, that is not even... Oh my god. It's, it's honestly breathtaking. Like, this screenshot right here. Boom. Doesn't it look amazing? All right, I know it looks awesome, but we got to get back out of shaders because I do know some of you guys don't really like watching shaders stuff. I have seen it uh, in other people's comments too, so I figured it might as well. And bleh, not as cool. Not as cool, but still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's really what I've been doing. I haven't done anything with these horses. Um, in here, I think I just added a crafting bench right there. Uh, I also shared my sheep. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Those sheep, those sheep won't grow their wool because there's not a, no grass for them to eat. Oh, dang it, man. Well, that's something they'll have to fix. So, uh, this episode, we're not going to be doing any building. I, as you saw, like, I have no materials left, so I need to do a lot of material uh, collecting before we start building again. But the reason why I did so much work is because last episode, I started, started talking to you about it. I'm losing... I, I sort of actually I sort of gained my motivation back, but I was losing a lot of motivation to build in this area Like I've been building in here for a lot of lot of time now It's been 11 episodes on this and I think it wait Did we start this series on on this channel or did we that we started on the other channel too? well, anyway, I uh, I Don't know I've been doing this this 
area for a while now. And so I, I just, I have ideas for other places and you guys are giving me a lot of ideas with these other realms and stuff that I really want to carry on with. And so uh, that's why I'm sort of doing a lot of stuff off camera because I just sort of want to finish it. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit. So the things I do know I want to do left is I want to do some furnishing. Like we haven't furnished any of the buildings really. Like they're all sort of bland and empty. And I do want to fill them up just so, you know, it adds a little bit of detail. You know, if it's just houses, it's not very fun. So I do want to assign roles to different buildings. Okay. And so we already have this one is like a leather worker. So we can, we've already decorated the exterior, but we can do the interior too. Um, that's a house. That's fine. That can be a, our library. Um, I feel like that should be just a regular shop. And of course that's our school. Um, and then that can just be like somebody's house too. Like we don't even have to decorate that. I'm thinking for all of the shops and stuff, we have housing above. So like right here, uh, let's actually go down. Um, in this, in that uh, building I was just pointing at over here. In this building right here, this may be a shop right here, but this guy lives up here. Like this is this is his bedroom right here. He lives above his shop. I feel like that's okay to do because it's like I don't know. It's it's it, the people have nowhere to live right, and they have to make money still. Um, I'm thinking this being like the town records. Like we get a lot of uh, books, bookshelves, and we just fill this up with bookshelves. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Like and then we can have some lore behind that as well. Haven't really been talking about lore either for a bit, so I apologize. We're still gonna get back into that too. In terms of the farmer. Maybe the farmer should have something too. I was, I figured maybe he would have a bed up here. Maybe. I don't know if he really liked that though. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and then of course, like when I move out or if I move out, maybe we should start thinking about my stuff too. I don't know. But when I move out, you know, this can be somebody's house too. And this guy, all the leather worker can live in here because his shop and stuff is out here. You know, so that just that kind of stuff like we can make a ton of beds. I feel like that will really tie the place in. Oh, did, I didn't want this here. I removed that from the other side. So, yeah, uh, that's sort of what I think is. So first thing I want to furnish everything. I want to give roles to these buildings that we're, we're, we have not just like, oh, let's throw a building here, throw a building here and call it done. I also want to do something back here. I feel like this is an awkward area. If you saw from like here, this is an awkward area. And so I was also thinking of moving the graveyard to right here. But what I like about the graveyard being here is this dull color right here. This color of the grass. I like that. Whereas over there you have a nice lush green. So let me know what you guys think. We can put something here still, but I, I need an idea for something to go right here. Okay. Um, we could just fill it in with trees and just, you know, have the forest continue that. But I feel like that's that's not doing it service. I also need to do like a little jungle gym here for the kids to play, you know, have something there. And then the other thing we need to do is have a road continuing this way and going off that way. Have a road continuing that way and going off that way. And maybe this way and going off that way and connecting up. Like we need to connect the roads up because we need to have the roads lead to the other cities, right? Like there needs to be some sort of highway system. Okay. Oh, something that we could do is make a carriage. Do these guys have carriages, you think? Well, they got horses, right? So they probably have carriages. That might, that might make sense. Um, let's take a look at my book, actually. So I have the graveyard, right? I have the barn. I have all of the, Oh, the underground well. Yeah, we need to do that, too. Um, I probably could just use my TNT for that. But, yeah, we need to do that, too. This will probably have to go deeper to do that. I also need to fill it in properly because I'm hate if I have to swim like this all the way up, I'm gonna die. Um, I also did a little bit of trading with these guys. These guys honestly don't have too good trades. Uh, yeah, this guy's got Frostwalker was pretty cool, but other than that, like the Frostwalker stuff isn't that good. Um, so yeah, this episode, like I said, is more of an update. I want to get you guys opinions. Like we do these episodes every once in a while where I do a lot of work and I talk to you guys and I want to get your opinions. I also want to know, Hey, when are you guys going on summer break? I think I asked that, but I, I forgot. So if you guys could also let me know when you guys are all going on summer break, uh, that would be very helpful too, for me as a, as a content creator so that I can, you know, sort of plan the videos out. Oh, we should also do something right here. Man, ideas are flowing. Ideas are flowing, man. I'm, I'm so excited. I also want to put these banners up everywhere, too. So, yeah. Anyway, I've been rambling a lot. I, I just had a cup of coffee, too. So, I'm sort of... 
<laughs> I'm sort of going off the walls. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Make sure to show that love and support. Leave a comment as you always do. Hashtag um, progress or something like that. I don't know. Hashtag progress, I think. Or hashtag, you know, chicken or something like that. No. Also, I'm trying a new thumbnail style. I posted on Twitter. Let me know if you like the new thumbnail style too. I'm probably going to go and change every single thumbnail uh, for every series that I've done uh, to look like this. So let me know what you guys think. But, uh, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>